Oh, and welcome back to What the Fuck. So today on day nine, I'm going to take things in a bit different direction. Um, if you're here strictly for health and um, health-related topics, don't worry, I do have something for you too. Um, but the main thrust of this video is going to be the idea of abiotic oil, or the idea that oil is not a fossil fuel. Um, I've been looking a lot into oil lately for whatever reason. I just, uh, I more or less look into whatever happens to interest me at the time. And first I'd like to discuss a interview with that was done with uh, Colonel Fletcher Prouty. Um, the interviewer asks uh, Colonel Prouty about the idea of oil as a fossil fuel, and he's like, <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> um, so according to Colonel Prouty, um, it's pretty easy to, to prove that oil isn't a fossil fuel because the deepest we've gone and found fossils is about 16,000 feet. And we have oil wells that go 30,000 plus feet deep. So clearly the oil isn't coming from fossils, according to him. Um, another thing that ties into the interview with Colonel Prouty is um, I, I watched a documentary called The Prize, or at least several hours of it. It's very long. It's like an eight-hour total long documentary just, on, just dedicated to oil. Anyway, the first uh, the first part looks at John D. Rockefeller and how he came to dominate American oil through shady and unethical and outright illegal uh, business practices. Colonel Prouty uh, states that the idea of oil as a fossil fuel comes from an 1892 meeting of scientists in Geneva. Um, according to Prouty, uh, oil was far too abundant in the minds of people at this time, and Rockefeller wanted to change that. Um, if you do happen to watch the prize, I, I suggest, I was very interested in the first part at least. It's available on YouTube if you're interested. After watching that, I think it's pretty easy to imagine Rockefeller doing something like Prouty suggests, which is that... Um, Rockefeller paid some scientists to go there and make the claim that oil was a fossil fuel and an exhaustible resource. Um, you never know when the next barrel might be the last one. Um, this was clearly in his interest to do because oil was very abundant and very cheap at the time. Um, you could pretty much swing a pickaxe and strike oil at that time, and when there was the big oil discovery in Texas, um, oil was so overproduced that it went down to five cents and even three cents a barrel at its most extreme. Um, so clearly Rockefeller being the um, shrewd businessman that he was, wasn't going to stand for that. So he wanted to uh, scare people into thinking, you better be careful. Um, and it also gave an excuse to raise prices. An excuse which uh, you still see today. So, what other evidence is there for oil being abiotic or not created um, solely by fossils. Uh, there's another interview about it with um, Dr. Jerome Corsi. He's done a lot of research on the subject, and um, Dr. Corsi talks about how the Nazis created oil um, without the use of fossils. Um, there's a pretty simple... <laughs> formula for creating it. Um, all you really need is hydrogen, carbon, heat, pressure, and a catalyst such as iron oxide or um, any number of others will do. The Nazis realized that they would need oil and a lot of it for the war, but they didn't have access to any great wells, so they a lot of the oil that they used was created. Um, 
And this right there also proves that um, you can make oil without any fossils being involved. So basically the theory goes that deep in the Earth's mantle, um, oil is constantly being generated because you have all the conditions necessary to create it down there. And as such, it's not an exhaustible oil resource, but one that is constantly being replenished. Of course, it's not in anybody's interest for this idea to get out. Um, they prefer that you think that it's a very limited and scarce resource, and there's all of these videos on peak oil. Um, I've looked at some of those as well. Um, but I find the idea of abiotic oil pretty intriguing, and I think that the fact that it's been done, that the Nazis were creating oil without fossils, more or less proves that it's at least not solely a fossil fuel. I thought it was kind of interesting and I figured I'd share. Um, so I mentioned that I was going to include some health thing today and we're talking about oil. So I'm going to talk about a practice that's known as oil pulling. Um, this is one of the more obscure natural health um, practices that I've stumbled across. and. Um, so basically, this is something that you do for your teeth. Um, well, not solely your teeth. The claims say that... Um, okay, so basically it goes like this. By taking a teaspoon or so of organic oil... Um, we're not talking about the gas kind now. <laughs> um, by taking a teaspoon of organic oil and swishing it vigorously around in your mouth for around 20 minutes, you can achieve several health benefits. And um, according to natural healthists, um, what this accomplishes is that um, as as uh, your body circulates its materials or what have you, the oil in your mouth will absorb several of the toxins. Now about this claim, I've, I've actually practiced oil pulling for on and off for quite a while. Um, I don't know about whether or not it, it does remove toxins. Um, what I can tell you is that it is a good teeth natural tooth whitener. Like I have said several times, I'm a heavy coffee drinker, so if my teeth are discolored, it's, um, it's from that. But I feel like I've balanced that quite a bit by um, practicing oil pulling. For oil pulling, um, what I personally use is um, organic sunflower oil. Oh. You want to use an organic oil, um, you don't want to use olive oil because olive oil um, may discolor your teeth. The, the oils commonly referred to are sunflower, um, I believe flaxseed oil, um, but you're going to want to make sure it's a nice clean oil. Whether it's effective for health reasons, I'm not sure. As a, as a tooth whitener, I believe that it is. I don't know, you be the judge. What do you think? <laughs> so, it's just one of those random things I thought I'd share, and that's been all about for today's video. Thank you for watching.